Hello I am Art Invader and welcome to my tutorial. Maybe you already know me. I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post my art and short tutorials on my social media channels. Feel free to check them out. You can find the link in the caption. I want to turn my passion into a profession. Therefore it would be nice if you support me on Patreon. There you will find the project files to my YouTube tutorials. For a small financial surcharge, you also get access to my 3D models, which I use in my art. Thank you for your help. Today I will show you how to create this cool Adidas slides animation without any plugins. Also in this video there will be no Adobe After Effects part. I just use the hue slash saturation and glow effect. Then let's get started arties. For the tutorial we need a logo as SVG file. For this we first open Adobe Illustrator in the format 1080 by 1080 pixel. There we insert a picture of the logo and press the button. Then we press the button image tracer on the top. When you are satisfied with the result, press the convert button. As you can see, there is still a white area around the logo. To remove it, select the whole graphic. Press with the right mouse button and choose Ungrouping. Now you can delete the area. The file is ready to export. Save the file as SVG file. Now let's switch to Blender. Delete the camera, the cube and the light with the X button. Now go to the top corner to import and select SVG file. Now select all parts of the logo and press with the right mouse button on it and select join. Now we press with the right mouse button on it and go to set origin then to origin center of mass. Now the axis crosses in the center. After that we set all coordinates to zero. Now go to the object data properties. In geometry under extrude we select 0.03 meters. Then we go to bevel and go to profile. At depth we select 0.003 meters and at resolution 5. At preset we select crown molding. Now press with the right mouse button on it and select convert, then mesh. Under physics properties we select collision tag for the logo. The logo is ready. Now I rename the layer to logo. Now we create the packaging. For this we select a cube in the top bar. In the Z axis we scale it down by half. So 0.5. At the top of the bar you can switch to the line view, so you can see the inside. Then scale the logo to the size of the cube. Physics always work better with bigger objects. After that you go into the edit mode and press with the right mouse button on it and select subdivide. At the bottom right you can now increase the number to 40. Now we select a frame in the package that is not drawn in. Select the flat selection at the top of the bar. Now go under the cube with the help of the turns tile. Then press the alt key and select a strip in the middle of the cube. Now go to Object Data Properties and create a new vertex group with the plus icon. Then press the button Assign. If you now press Select and Deselect your selection will always be selected automatically. Switch back to the Object Mode. Now we work with Physics. It's best to save your settings now and then. It can be that your computer crashes. Select the cube and go to physics properties. There select the cloth tag. Now we have to change some values. So that the computer does not calculate the things in parallel, we switch off the visibility in the viewport. Use this button for that. Set the animation slider to frame 0. Set a check mark at pressure and under pressure press with the right mouse button and select insert keyframe. Move the slider to frame 30 and set for pressure minus 140 and set another keyframe. At cache we change to start 0 and end 30. 
at shape under pin group we select the group we created before. At collision we change the quality steps to 5. At self collision we set a check mark. Finally we set gravity to 0. Go to frame 0 and switch the cloth tag visibility back on. Also change back to the flat view. Now press the play button to make the slide contract. In the meantime, I would like to point out that you are welcome to send me your results on Instagram. I will repost all of them. Also, do you have any theme suggestions or want to know how other artists created their animation? Feel free to send me a direct message or write it in the comments. I will make a tutorial about it. Choose a frame that suits you best. When you have found something suitable, press the right mouse button and go to Convert, then to Mesh. Then you can delete the keyframes. Now go to Modifier Properties and add Smooth. Set Factor to 1000. Then select a subdivision surface. Choose for Levels Viewport 3 and for Renderer 4. Now we come to the Material. First we change the viewport shading in the upper right corner, 4. Then we split the view into 2. For this go to the side until A plus appears and drag the window to the side. Switch to the shadow editor view. Then you go into the world mode. Under background I increase strength to 2. Search for environment texture and insert a picture of your choice. I choose a HDRI sky. Duplicate the environment texture. There I insert another image with lightnings. Then I choose mix RGB and connect both environment textures. I also set the mode to multiply. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can find there the whole project files, you can find the link in the caption. After that I search for mapping and geometry position and connect them like this. Under mapping I rotate everything in the X and Z axis by 90 degrees. Then switch to object mode. Create a new material for the logo. There you set metallic to 1 and roughness to 0. Now we create the foil material. Create a new material. Select for roughness 0.1 and for transmission 1. So that we can see the transparency we have to insert a camera first. Under output properties select a suitable format. Under render properties check AB and occlusion and select distance 2 and factor 0, 0,2. After that you set a check mark at bloom. Set threshold to 2, knee to 0.5, radius to 100 and intensity to 0.5. Finally, set a check mark at screen space reflection. Set trace precision to 1, max roughness to 1, thickness to 1, edge fading to 0.1 and clamp to 10. There you set a check mark at refraction. Now go back to the material and set a check mark at screen space refraction. Now we come to the animation. First go to the logo and remove the collison tag. For the cube go to the modifier properties and press apply for both modifiers. Now select logo and cube press with the right mouse button and select join. Shorten the animation to 150 frames and set the slider to frame 0. Set a keyframe by pressing on the dot. Rotates the logo minimally and sets the value at the bottom left of the window to zero. Moves the slider to the end of the animation and rotates the logo 360 degrees. Opens the transform window. Whenever a page is visible, press insert keyframe. Now you can move the inner keyframes to each other 
so that the back side of the logo is visible as short as possible. To make the animation linear, we go to the graph editor. There we select the animation curve. Then we go to key, then interpolation mode and change to linear. At the end, at the end we use a plane as background. Create a new material and set the color to black and the rest to zero. That's it the animation is ready to render. Press command and F12. Thanks for all the messages and for the great feedback. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1-2 to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.